where every Tuesday I answer questions. I am on tour in the UK right now and I woke up this morning with razor blades in my throat. <laughs> I don't know what happened. I just woke up and my throat felt like it was on fire. I don't, I, I, it's not good timing. All right, let's get your questions. Today, I'm gonna take some questions from Instagram because I haven't done that in a while. Can you draw anything with your non-dominant hand? I will try right now. I am right-handed. I'm gonna try to draw a cat with my left hand. Okay, I'm doing pretty good so far. Uh, a cat. What's your favorite type of pancake for the holiday time? I love chocolate chip pancakes made by Rachel Ballinger. If God sneezes, what should you say? Normally, you'd say God bless you. So you're telling him to bless yourself, but that seems so sad. If God sneezed and you were like, bless yourself. That's just so rude. <laughs> I feel like you'd be like, hey, stop raining on me. That would be a lot of snot. What is your obsession at the moment? My obsession at the moment is this particular onesie. You guys know that I am obsessed with onesies. I wear them every day. I got it at Primark in London and it's got snowmen and candy canes and Christmas trees on it. I don't know what it's made out of, but it is the softest, cuddliest. I feel like I'm wrapped in the most cozy blanket on the planet. I'm like a size six here in the UK and this is a size 16 because I like them really big and cozy and it's just the best and I wear it every day and it probably smells like anus and I don't even care. Yeah. Oh, it hurts to burp. If you stop reading this, you will die. My name is Teresa Fizdolaga. If you don't post this on 20 photos, I will sleep with you forever. Kinky. A girl ignored the and 29 years later her mom died. I am real. You can search me on Google. I feel bad. Wow, the stuff I find on Instagram is great. <laughs> Who's the last person you texted and what does the text say? P.S. I love you so F. Mm. The last text I sent was to Rachel and Christina and Lee. Rachel's my sister, Christina's my best friend, and Lee is our UK tour manager and we call him the leprechaun because he's from Ireland and we're brats. I just sent him this picture but you can't see it so I'm gonna put it on the screen. Go find Lee on Twitter or Instagram and call him a pretty little leprechaun. How do you deal with someone you hate so much and she is your friend. This is such a strange question to me because if you hate someone, why are they your friend? That Then they're not your friend because you don't hate your friend. I'm so confused by this question. Can you pat your head and rub your tummy whilst singing Sam Smith, Stay With Me? Oh, won't you stay with me? Cause you're all I need. I did it! What will you be doing on your birthday? My birthday is coming up on November 21st and I'm really excited about it. Every year I make a really big deal about my birthday and do a huge party and a big blowout and do something extravagant. But this year I'm so tired. <laughs> All I want for my birthday is to go home to Santa Barbara to my parents' house and just have dinner at my parents' house with my family. Like that's all I want in the whole world. I feel like I'm getting emotional <laughs> thinking about it because I'm so homesick. It's the only thing in the world that I want. I just want to hang out with my family and eat good food and hug my boyfriend. I know what the comments are gonna say. They're gonna say, he's not your boyfriend, he's your fiance. Well guess what, he's still my boyfriend too and he's gonna be my boyfriend for the rest of my life. Even when he's my husband, he's still gonna be my boyfriend. I'm gonna call him my boyfriend because he's my boyfriend. This one hair. What are you doing? Get out. Can you do yoga queefs like teeny? <laughs> no, I can't. What this person is referring to is a video that my sister posted of Christina. She can queef on command and I am so impressed and my sister caught it on video. My sister just launched a vlog channel and she's vlogging the entire experience of being in the UK and kind of everywhere we tour she'll be vlogging. So you guys should also sub give us and watch our travels if you feel like it. That's all the questions I have for you guys today. I wanted to take a little time to talk about something with you. I have noticed a lot of hate on the internet recently, and there's always been a lot of hate, not just on me, I'm not complaining about like my comments, just on my friends' channels. I'm seeing a lot of really horribly rude comments. It's just such a bummer because this is a place where you guys have all become friends and I've become friends with you and some of my best friends I've met through this and my fiance I met through the internet. So the internet's such an awesome place and it would be such a shame if we all just got sick of it because of how rude people are being on the internet. So I don't want to go into detail about that and I don't want to focus on the hate because that just, 
ignites the fire. What I want to do is encourage you guys to be nice to people. I just want to try to band together with you guys and conquer the internet and explode it with optimism and happiness. Tweet something really nice, either to someone in particular or someone you love, or just try to spread optimism. Telling someone that they have a beautiful smile could change their day, or giving someone a hug can make them so happy. Try to put a smile on someone's face because the world needs it. I just think that would be a fun little project that we could do together as a team. I feel like too many of us focus too much on the bullies and being bullied and not enough on the people who are doing the right thing and spreading happiness and being nice and kind to other people. And I just think that's really important. I'm really inspired and encouraged by my fiance because he ends every single video with be nice to people and that's something that I think we should all take to heart and we should all try to do. So go be nice to someone today. Use the hashtag and I'll try to find as many of you as possible and send you a little thank you note or a DM or tweet to say yeah, positivity and happiness. I just love you guys and I don't want anyone to be sad. You make me really happy. Thank you for all the sweet, wonderful letters you give me at shows and the wonderful tweets. You're all amazing, wonderful people and I, I love you and thank you for making my life a better place. I hope today you guys can try to make someone else's life a better place as well. Alrighty, that's it for me. I'm gonna go to the theater and do a show. I love you and have a great day. Da -da 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 -da. <laughs> That was the most epic fort building I have ever witnessed in my entire life. I'm mad because the boys got to go to Disneyland while I was stuck at home, bored to tears.